All right, we've started, and oh, I need to actually record this too. I didn't do that last time. I actually don't know if that was okay. <laughs> all right, let's share the link with all of the social. And I am, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. What, what is, okay, stream is happening. At everyone, we are live. Cool. All right. Okay so weird because i can't i guess i could do a starting soon screen but you know that'd be too easy right okay let's do a rectifier patch It's really weird to be streaming on YouTube again. This was actually the orange patch that we had from last time. I think it sounds really, really good. So let's make a rectifier one that works really, really well. Oh. Oh. It's so, like, it's so bright. <laughs> Start with everything at 50, because otherwise it's going to be way too bright. All right. I want to put gain on like low. Off. Now. Off a of boost. Just the regular tone. Okay, cool. Hello, Jimmy Fisher. I'm just basically going through this one patch on the GT1000. Hope you're doing well. Uh, actually, let's move this so that everyone can see a little bit more. I think, yeah, I think that's probably better for everyone. All right, cool. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna mess with the amp settings. This is basically everything at noon. And I feel like there's already enough game. What's up, uh, Lacaist? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So, uh, I'm gonna be having some beers and dialing in a, gu a guitar tone, and that's basically what the stream's gonna be. <laughs> How's everyone's day? How's everyone's week? I think this needs a little bit more treble. A little dull on the top end. That sounds more correct to me. Good week, that's good to hear. I've had a mixed week. 
I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than that. A little too loud now. Um, so I know on a rectifier, typically you'd want to be pushing the volume a little bit. And I know that boss emulates how the volume kind of changes the tone. So if you have the level on like 40, it's going to be a little bit thinner. Even if you just increase the volume. So if you increase the volume right here without the master volume cranked on the amp model, very thin. And so if you were to crank the volume on the amp itself, I'm fairly certain Boss emulates it. I'm going to put it around 65. A lot thicker. Let me push it a little bit more. Right, so now it's a lot thicker. If I push it back to the same volume that it was at, a little too loud. A lot, lot more, like there's a lot more girth. I love that word, girth. What's up, metal? Does this sound like a rectifier to you? I know you have one. <laughs> you have a real one. Rectal fire. I've always laughed at like all the names that like the amp companies come up with for like rectifier. And I'm very sad that no one's just said straight up wrecked. Also today I am drinking a Oktoberfest fest beer. I have no clue if you can see if you can see this very clearly, but it I'm gonna mispronounce this. I'm fairly certain this is German. Um Way hind step hanner. <laughs> Fest beer. <laughs> and then I'm it, it says down here it says premium bavericum. So you know what I'm drinking. The Stevie T amp from ML Sound Lab has rectifier sound, huh? Oh, rectal fire. Yeah, this sounds really like scooped. What happens if you push the mids on a rectifier? 100 mids, let's go. Sounds really boxy. <laughs> um, what What is a usual rectifier setting? Is it like you push treble? The mid range of a rectifier is really, really like weird. It's weirdly flat. I know, right? Like it sounds. But then it sounds kind of like a like there's like a cocked wah. Doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jazzy. Yeah, this is a very, like, too much mids in a rectifier is really weird. There sounds about right. All right, let's max out the bass and see what happens. That's the rectifier I know. It's clipping my signal on my interface right now. Yeah, that's exactly it. So is this like a really weirdly flubby sound to y'all? <laughs> oh my God, it's so much bass. It's like actually like, the red on my interface is kind of funny right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull the volume down a little bit. And okay, so basically today I'm still using the same IRs as before. It's a mix of an orange and a Marshall, and then also uh, a little bit of Ola's raw 
IRs. So if y'all if y'all don't know, IRs come in two kinds. There are two kinds of IRs. There are uh, post EQ and pre EQ. All of Ola, uh, all of Ola's IRs are pre EQ, as far as my ears can tell. And then all the ones from like Bogren Digital or all those like higher priced ones are like EQ to hell. So you'll never get like an in the room tone with those IRs, but you'll get a really good mixed tone. Um, that's kind of where you're supposed to be using it. You're yeah. thinking about it today. If you want a preview of the Seymour Duncan Black Winter pickups, I can give you a raw DI with the neck. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Add that to the Discord. Uh, do I have a Discord link right now? available that i can put into chat uh let's see i probably don't <laughs> um oh i actually don't though that's sad let's see uh uh yeah i don't have that for whatever reason right now let me get the discord link from somewhere open night bot and i'll find it but yeah um so this is without a boost by the way but i do i am on active pickups and so it's pretty tight already i'm fairly certain that's not how a rectifier is I actually don't even know if a rectifier usually has this much gain. I think, so there's a gain switch here and I'm pretty sure a rectifier is like, this sounds more like a traditional rectifier to me. Still a lot of bass though. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Um, yeah, display names on, on, uh, on Google are weird. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, post it in the discord. Our discord is here. If anyone wants to join the discord, we're about to rebrand ourselves as house Honkerton. As voted by the community from Twitch. Let me um let me save this really quick. Uh in twelve. Save it. Rectifier. The passive you expect total base flip. Let's get a passive. My Kiesel is a passive. My Kiesel is really really awesome. Hear that wolf. Also, this is not tuned at all. <laughs> let me let me tune it again. I haven't tuned it since uh streaming yesterday. I actually haven't played guitar since yesterday morning. Um and these are new strings on this thing, so I haven't stretched them really all that much either. But, yeah, there. Now it's fixed. Oh, the bussy popper. <laughs> I don't know why anything with the a C name after it after it just like makes me laugh. It's it's actually just funny as fuck. Oh, dude, what's up, Navi? We're just dialing in tones right now. Um, no, there isn't. I don't have any um, boost on, actually. Here's uh, the rectifier gain like on its low gain switch. I can play like um, more like rock stuff with this. What is okay? There's have has anyone here watched so many guitar reviewers on YouTube that you start like learning the riffs that they play? 
for guitar reviews and not like riffs from actual songs because i know that kyle bull play uh, he plays like this like thing that's like Pussy was the original. It was the original, and we love it for it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep it at medium gain. Well, I appreciate it, Jazzy. My, I know that. Say, I'm trying to find out how to do my audio or my audio gear remo uh, removes reviews a little bit more. Um, a little bit more interestingly. I don't know what would make this more interesting to, to everyone. And like, it's it's weird because I'm sitting here, I'm making an amp model work for me and I don't know if it's interesting or not. Actually sounds better if I don't have as much trouble. It just sounds like there's a cocked wah effect going on on it. It's so strange. Anyway, how have you been, Navi? It's been a bit. What games have you uh, games have you been playing lately? Agufish is so fun to watch. I don't know, like, I would say Agufish is a huge influence on this, the content that I make. What if I don't have any bass? Okay, there it is. Dad rock. What's what's a good dad rock? Is is Metallica dad rock now? Max bass. Let's max out the bass and then add some bass in post EQ. Five sounds right. Maybe a little bit more bass. There it is, that purr. You always want that like purr when you palm mute. J -j Jesus. <laughs> Metalcore is granddad rock now. Those 20 year olds are 60 to 70. Wait, oh, Matalaka. Sorry, I meant that as Metalcore for some, for some reason. <laughs> So is Slayer. Slayer, uh, Anthrax, and Megadeth, right? What is the what is the riff that everyone plays with Megadeth? The uh... I don't even know it. Now 
yeah, this is actually kind of what I was expecting, where it's like a flub, but it's still clear. And this might be a good time to add in a boost. But actually, we have resonance and sag knobs on here. What's up, Mello? Should I increase? Do, do y'all think more gain? Where do, you, where, where do you think the gain level is at for everyone? By the way, we're drinking Oktoberfest, so if anyone has beers, although if you if you don't, don't feel pressured to drink, never feel pressured to drink just because I'm drinking. I usually I usually don't drink on stream because I I stream in the mornings on Twitch. I think it'd be weird if I just start the day off just hammered. Max gain. Do folks use rectifiers for like modern mu music? I'm guessing they do, right? Rectifier for leads? Really? Why does a rectifier sound with the neck pickup? relearn part of that song. <laughs> I also need to learn some like simpler trivium songs too like It's too scoop right off the bat for me to want to EQ. We want a wall of zeros. You want corn? It's corn. Let's tighten it. Tube screamer. Can we use a like actual tube screamer model? The T scream. Ooh, you guys hear y'all hear that this additional gain just added suddenly, <laughs> out of nowhere. I really don't like the T scream model on the GT one thousand. By the way, it makes it really nasty sounding. I actually just don't like it. That's so much gain. Holy crap, dude. That's so much gain. It's like a modded tube screamer almost. Alright, 
adding some gain onto the amplifier and then uh, reducing the level of the Tube Screamer. Maybe it's a little bit better. Clipping now. Yeah, it's so interesting. It's so weird. It's so hard to use the Tube Screamer model on the GT1000. It doesn't sound like a Tube Screamer to me. It just, it's not working out for me. I'll just use the other mid boost. I think it sounds better. Or can we use a Klon? There's a, the Senta OD, which is Centaur, I'm guessing. Toad needs to be brighter. I think the it needs less gain. I need to add an extra noise gate. Then less gain on the amp. Maybe a slight bit more bite on the top end. All right. Call out songs in chat, everyone. I don't know that song well enough. It's so much like artifacting going on. You hear the You hear that? It's not liking it's not liking the boost. Oh there we go. Right here, right now. I don't know how that one goes. Give me a metal song. A song traditionally played on a rectifier. <laughs> oh, doesn't Linkin Park play on a rectifier? Let's save this really quick just so I don't lose what I have. Yeah, the attack is really good now. I actually kind of like that. Um, let's drop tune and play some drop tune stuff. Out of tune. The biscuit. What was it? Just one of those days. All that song is. I have gods on rectifiers now. So there's that. I think the overdrive was too much. Too much high end. Ooh. I like that.
I think it's a modern, it's a more modern rectifier. Because on the Boss GT100, they had a vintage rectifier and a modern rec rectifier. I don't know what the differences are, but I'm presuming this is the modern. Or it could be the different channels, because I know the rectifier has, I think, the re does the rectifier have the vintage and modern channels? I've never played through one, like, myself. Question. How delayed is my chat? Someone in chat, the moment you hear this, can you type one in chat? Okay, so it's not too delayed. Thank you. So here, here I am forgetting every riff that I know because that's just kind of how this works. I have it on ultra low latency, which I have no clue what that means. Um, it's just ultra low latency. <laughs> Anyway, more treble, more mids, more bass. What do y'all think? I haven't added the resonance to it. Let's add some resonance. I'll put it at five. What with what, what resonance was at zero? This is this is if the if there was a, a pillow over the amp. That sounds about right to me. And sag. Rectifiers are known for being very saggy, right? 10 sag, max sag. Too much sag. I think that's too much too much sag. What if I had no sag? Well, it's so bassy. Oh, it clips. You hear the 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 purring of the the palm mute. to adjust it while I'm chugging I think to actually know
Okay. I think this is set up pretty well. Um, I don't know if I need less gain or more gain. There's so much gain in this amp already. Like, if I add a boost to the front of it, it just sounds like it's just dying. I feel like the low gain switch is like the best. That sounds a lot cleaner. I wish it was more defined sounding on the top end. If I added more treble, would that hurt my ears? Oh god. <laughs> Ow. Treble is always really hard to manage with presence from a... You'll purr in your hands. By the way, I'm thinking of, this is the most extra thing. I'm thinking of replacing the pickups on this thing that I just got back with black pickups. On the real thing, the treble knob cuts a ton of mids as it's turned up and brings back a lot of mids when turned down. Okay, so my mids are at 50 right now. My treble is at 70. Treble way down and presence way up. Sounds like an orange. It's weird. It's very strange. Whatever setting I have it on right now is actually really perfect. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually kind of happy with this. What is the what is the the typical metalcore riff? sounds good i like it like this let me save this because i think it sounds really good again my cabinets are an, an orange with a marshall and with a little bit of a raw ola blend okay looking through my list to make sure i remember songs Sounds pretty good.
That roof always like trips me up because I don't know when to down pick and when to up stroke. <laughs> This sounds good. Let's compare it with the orange that I had before. That wasn't it. This one. Why is it so, like, not... Is this really how my orange amp sounded in comparison? That's so funny. I don't remember it sounding like this. It's the same IRs and everything. It's so interesting. This is called ear fatigue. My ears are getting used to a certain tone. All right. This is really cool. Um, let's play some Lamb of God stuff. It sounds so much more pleasing to my ears than when I than I thought it would go it was going to. Honestly. It sounds better than I thought it was going to. Uh okay, so actually <laughs> So we got this one. And then we also have the orange. I didn't realize how much brighter a rectifier was. Actually, it does sound nice with the highs. Anyway, anyway. All right, let's add some lead stuff to it, yeah? See how the leads go. I actually don't think I need to even EQ this between the cab and the... Yeah, I don't even think I need to EQ between the cab and uh amp model here which is kind of not usual usually for the boss stuff i have to eq a lot because they don't make their amps work well with with um 
They don't make their amps work well with other IRs. <laughs> Sounds pretty good already. I definitely think this needs to have a little bit more bass to feel correct. That'd be too much. That feels better. I don't think it needs that much trouble. Three does. This sounds really good now, actually. Oh no, is my am I dropping frames? It just gave me a warning. It says current bitrate zero is lower than the recommended one. Although I'm not getting dropped frames on my OBS. My bitrate is at zero, everyone. I really do want a rectifier like amplifier, like a real one. I don't know which one would be the best. It probably will replace my DSL at some point. Okay, so let's actually, I think this is it. This is basically the tone. I would be okay playing that absolutely. It's so good. Um, and then with the leads, I think it sounds pretty good too. Question mark. What leads do I know? Why do I forget every song that I've ever known when I'm on stream? Unless anyone request, unless like I'm in a request stream, I completely forget it. Layla. like that right Ooh, there's tune my guitar really quick tune it back to standard
That's the, Layla is the pentatonic, like to end all the pentatonics. Okay. Turn all the, the read stuff off. Well, this was quick. I feel like maybe my patch has a little bit too many mids on a rectifier, which is eh. not the traditional sound. It might be a little too bright. But the sizzle is what makes it good, though. Let's add some gain. You know what's interesting on a rectifier? When you add gain, you like feel it throughout the entire like spectrum. It's weird. going to be a recto patch it should be one of the brighter ones it's not piercing though which is kind of surprising i feel like martial amps tend to be a little bit more piercing than a uh, rectifier JVMs are weird. If you, um... So on a JVM, if I remember correctly, if you add gain at, after like 8 o'clock, or sorry, not 8 o'clock, after 8 on the dial, it actually removes treble on the JVM. So you actually have to run it pretty high on gain. Otherwise, the highs are going to hurt. This feels really good to play right now. Like, legitimately, this feels as good as like, like a real amp. It's kind of surprising. 
I feel the response. Kind of cool. All right. Um. Okay. Well, today's been kind of a quieter stream. I think. I think that might do it for me. Unless there's any other riffs anyone wants to hear, I could probably just play some random shit for like another five or something. Wow, playing Mastodon with a rectifier is really weird sounding. Yeah, it sounds not like correct. What does Mustaine usually play? Does Mustaine play a JCM? Take a mortal man and put a man control. I just sound like Squidward. Anyway, yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for me for this camp. I can play that a lot better. Haha. <laughs> So this isn't usually kind of the tone that I would go for in a mix. Because I think it's going to get lost in the mix a lot. It's really scooped. Ah. Uh. I need to practice that a little bit more. I want to play that more on stream. Like the way it sounds? I do I do think it sounds really good. I think if I blended this with the orange from last week. If we blended the models together, it would sound really, really good, actually. Why this does this? I like the EQ. It's so strange. Yeah, it's great standalone. I don't know how it does in a mix. It's a tone that sounds better on its own, but it's used on so many albums, though. So interesting. Stuff like that is so interesting. All right, let's take this rectifier patch and actually let's save it. 
I'll save just the amp model. Once it lets me. This is a very American sound though. Right to stomp box, I'm gonna do. Uh, actually, let's see what stomp boxes have. One is rectifier. Okay, let's just save it to rectifier. <laughs> And if we go to this right here, not make that that. And then let's, let's actually add a second amp. So this is the one thing I think the GT1000 has over the, um, what it has over the other modelers at the price point is that you can blend two amps. So this is a blend of the two right now or it will be when I actually up the level of the two. So this is both of them at 50. That's really weird sounding. Even the low end isn't liking itself. <laughs> um, could be also the boost. So, uh, Dave from Dave, Dave from no Dave Friedman, not not any other Dave. There's too many Daves in metal. Um, Dave Friedman had mentioned that he he feels that dual lamp setups are not quite as like good as people think they are. <laughs> That was pretty good. Add the boost. That takes a lot to blend those two. It sounds really, there's like too much honk in it, which I guess is perfect for the theme of my stream, you know? <laughs> anyway, I think that's gonna do it for me. I think we're good. Anyway, thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, I... I was originally going to stream Saturday morning, but I've been kind of discouraged, feeling kind of discouraged about Twitch lately. Um, so I think I might take a break. Might take a bit of a break from Twitch, probably just for tomorrow. Can't log into Twitch right now on desktop, dude. And Chain even talked about how like Twitch stopped their they stopped their um subathon or September like early, right? Like why? <laughs> why would they do that? <laughs> it makes no sense. Um Yeah. That's kind of how that is. Anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks everyone for joining. Um, hopefully it sounds good. We might use this for um we might use this for uh this week's streams, I don't know. Um, but I definitely will not be streaming. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. I have not been able to catch up on sleep and I just kind of wanna I just want to game all of tonight and just like do that. And yeah, anyway. Um, so one thing I will say though, is I have a friend who is live. So please, if everyone, I'm going to put the link in chat to do this. If I get everyone over to Twitch, Ubby is live. I'm going to be hanging out there on Twitch after this stream. I obviously can't take everyone from here there, but 
click on that link. obi has got really good tones and much better guitars than I am um, on that Axe Effects. And yeah. Yeah, I will be back next week. I'm doing this every Friday. I'm committed to the YouTube thing, the Twitch thing. Um, I'm still kind of thinking about it. I'm still going to be doing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday um, on Twitch. But to this Saturday specifically, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to... I'm not going to stream tomorrow, but I will be back on Tuesday. Um, I'll update the Discord with why, and yeah, so that, that'll be it. Um, anyway, thanks everyone so much for joining. Have a great rest of your evening. Um, cheers to y'all, and yeah, have a good one. Later.